Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, the last Eden run. Uh, we hit it and quit it. Actually, we treated it with a great deal of respect and won. This time we got Gimpy, Rib of Greed, 00F0F00T. It was so close to being the most satisfying seed we've ever had. Um, and we got Gimpy, which is good, and Red Candle, which I would argue is better. And then, um, at least better early. But we also have no HP, or rather, one red heart. At least it's not one spirit heart. It's a little easier to replenish one red heart than one spirit heart. And our damage and DPS stats are pretty decent. Full health. This is a funny joke. Um, but sure, I mean, it's fair to say this is a little bit suboptimal as far as uh, survivability goes. But everything else about this run is just fantastic right now. Couldn't have asked for like better damage if you only get, or better survivability and damage if you only get two items to start. Gimpy is a really good item, especially if you can maybe get an arcade to happen uh, for the next floor. But if we get hit, we're basically dead. So you know there there are some caveats here. Okay, teleport. He teleported. He is now dead. He still dropped his shit, which I think is BS. But experimental treatment at one HP, I really like. Uh, our range sucks. Why do I like it at 1 HP? Because it can't kill you. So you know you're not getting minus 1 HP from it. And honestly, the the margins are narrow enough on uh, experimental treatment that I feel like just having a slight advantage like that gives you all the edge in the world. It like, gives you all you need to actually make it worth taking. Even though, in this case, it doesn't look like it really did anything better for us. Um, I, I agree still that it's worth taking. Ludo, I quite like. Ludo! I can't, I don't remember any lyrics from a ludicrous song. So I have southern style, something, 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 different kind of whip, whip. Picture perfect. You might want to take a flick, 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 flick. Call up Jazzy, tell him pop the bottle because we got another hit, hit. I'm a gold platinum. I don't know. That's, that's his verse from O oh by Ciara. Ciara? Ciara. It's hard with, with rap artists because they always, the names are wordplay, and then you're like, well, is it chameleon air or is it chameleon air? You know, it's like make up your mind here. I also need to pimping all over the world, but he doesn't sing that part. And then there's like, Ludacris has that song that uses the the Austin Powers theme song. But I don't, I don't remember what no, number one coming for that number one spot, something like that. That's I, I mostly remember him saying it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog from Hustle and Flow. With Terrence Howard. AKA the first James Rhodes won a uh, won a Best Supporting Actor Oscar. What the fuck am I talking about? Okay, we're in a weird spot. I really cannot take a deal with the devil here. So I'm really hoping that this dude gives me HP. Because if he doesn't give me HP, then I don't even think we can use our strength card to take a deal unless that deal also gives us HP. Well, we do get the ability to take a deal. And, uh, well, fuck. Kind of got to go for the guppy. And we're dead? <laughs> well, it was a hell of a streak. Okay. We got uh, the shears and the the toy box. That was stupid of me. I just shouldn't have taken anything. V36N JHLK. Or maybe we should have popped strength? That was like a little bit of a brain fart. Uh, that was not a good room to use shears on. I thought I had Guppy's head because that's where we were on the last one. Um, yeah, that was dumb. We were strong. I feel bad. I feel that, that sweet hormonal release of shame. Uh, entering entering my body right now, so I'm not uh, not loving life that much. But I, I blame Terrence Howard for that one. I wouldn't actually blame Terrence Howard. Like that, I, if I'm gonna blame him for anything, it would be stealing my heart as uh, whatever the the character's name was from Hustle and Flow, which he won an Oscar for. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Um, but uh, we we start over from zero here, Brian McKnight style. Brian McKnight actually started back at one. That's because Brian McKnight has never computer programmed, so he m makes his list, uh, you know, starting at one instead of starting at zero. Which is fine, you know, as long as it's just communicated to the end user in a way that's functional. You don't want, like, an index out of bounds exception or something like that. Um, we're not going to be able to use uh, the shears for this because I'm an idiot. But we will be able to come in here. Okay, pills. One makes you larger. Telepills is not particularly strong. Explosive diarrhea. Could be good. Could also result in our death, but could be good. All right, let's uh, finish this off. I don't think we even need to uh, use a bomb against Pin. Well, I know we don't need to use a bomb against Pin, but 
Um, I don't think we want to use a bomb against Pin because we can save them for the next floor. Maybe look for a second secret room or something. Pick up some HP. I mean, this is a good run as well. Like, 0F000T zero 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 or whatever it was was a good one too. But um, this one's got some stuff going on. The Shears is, I, I really think, debatably one of the best uh, space items in the game. Maybe debatably the best. But I wouldn't classify it as the best. Just Just up there. Okay, second secret room contains runes. It's good. Yera, very, very solid. Or should I say Yera, Yera solid. Perthro, also very good. Awas. Perthro, do we have two Perthros and a Yera? I think we take Perthro, honestly. Uh, Yera's great, don't get me wrong, but are we really going to save the Yera rune to the chest? Probably not. Better to have this ready for a deal with the devil or something, I think. Speaking of deals with the devil, let's try not to walk on the spikes as we pick up an item. I'm still d extremely embarrassed, thanks for asking. Um, can't get into boss trap room. Double keys, thanks to the, uh, the box there, appreciate it. Could be a secret room. Usually on these floors, they're so small that the secret room is easy enough to find by itself. Is this where we start building up a real streak again? I certainly hope so. And we've had like a, you know, win win three, lose one. Win win four, lose one. Win two, lose one. It's, uh, I'm getting tired of the, the humdrum hubbub of the ho-hum rat race, if you know what I mean. Ho-hum rat race was also my, my byline for my review of the 2002 film rat race. Which I thought was just okay. Well, uh, let's save our Perthrow for the deal with the devil. But it is always nice to know that we have something that we can sink our Perthrow into here. No! You wouldn't. Give me this deal with the devil. I earned it! Oh, dude, this is like ideal. I mean, it sucks that we got hit. But it's ideal to have the shears ready for, you know, one of our most annoying first floor bosses. Oh, he's chewing. Did not get the deal. Let's be honest, didn't deserve the deal. However, we can come back in here. Uh, might as well shoot this. Might have a chance to pick up. Uh, man, a rate of fire is really good after that coat hanger pickup. Might be able to re-roll this into something more worthwhile. Yeah, that's a, that's a Hollywood classic right there. I'd like to get the 15 cents. We might as well look. You know, we might be able to swing it. Shoot the fires. Do your due diligence, at least. If we get to 15 cents, this could, you know, completely change the way the game looks right now. Thanks. You found the secret room for me. Could have saved my bomb. Really appreciate that. I, I, uh, okay, we're out of here. Okay, it's still good. Like, we're going to get a deal with the devil on the next floor, probably. Coat hanger's good. Brother Bobby's okay. But, um... You know, with three keys, I think we should actually try going to our going to our shop. We might be able to get a penny in here anyway. It's not like there's anything we really want that much. Okay, so let's just take this. Maybe this, too. The Hoymit. Okay, I like it because it's a boss rush teleporter. I gotta get some of my sea legs. You know, gotta get my confidence back under me after that last run. Curse room. Yeah, okay, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's try to leverage our, our newfound advantage. Get rid of the Hermit card, like, immediately. It's the same shop. Except this time it has spider mod. Which is okay, but if I'm not rolling in cash, I'm not that interested. Good item, though. It, it, it can give you the right status effects at the right time sometimes. Now, Bloody Penny. Bloody Penny has some interesting stuff going on. I thought we would get one of them to explode. Dude, these guys are too tanky. They're too tanky! Are you a former right winger for the Colorado Avalanche? Because you're Alexander Tanke. Alex, Alex Tange. He's Canadian. He's from British Columbia, actually. Not Vancouver, though, like Squamish or something. Close enough. You know, color me surprised. An NHL hockey player from Canada? What are the odds? Well, I probably don't really care. By the way, Holy Light, good item. But uh, don't really care about... Um, Going back to that shop, you know, we still have enough spirit heart action to carry us through here. Okay, somehow didn't get hit there. Does Holy Light scale with our luck stat? It may indeed, so 
If that was a luck upgrade, that would have been sweet. Instead, it's just a stupid pretty fly. Doesn't even do anything for us, except give us a permanent advantage for free. And I think we're going to get out of this floor ASAP. You know, there's not going to be an arcade here. We will get a deal with the devil. We have HP that we can use to take it. Oh, Gertie. Dude, I love fighting these tanky enemies and just having shears, like, go buck wild. Uh, that being said, we do have Holy Light, which is great against stationary enemies, too. But, okay, we got pills. And not Krampus. Okay. <laughs> we did it. Okay, sack dagger and we're living. Power pill. And then power pill. Infested. And bad gas. So basically we got the use of uh, the game kid for one room. What an incredible selection. Allow me to take a drink of my coffee here. We're cruising a little bit faster than is necessary. I think this is worth using power pill. Okay. Yeah, Judas' is shadow and maybe it'll kill me. So I can respawn as Dark Judas right away. Still a worthwhile use of power pill, I think. But if we don't have to use power pill, like if we don't think we're going to get hit, then then why bother, right? Okay. I just <laughs> My resolve uh, held for about 15 seconds there. That's That's all you could really expect. Dude, if you could... I thought we were going to get killed by that shot, and I was actually just going to clap. I was going to be amazed. Okay, good. Holy light shots. Holy light shots. Holy light shots. Are you kidding me? There was like 15 shots we hit in there, and none of them were holy light. How does such a thing even happen? And even our holy light shots, uh, he just moves right past them. I mean, it's just a haunt. It shouldn't be that bad, but... We got him. We got him. We got him. Stay strong. There you go. We got keys as well, so let's uh, check out double key room. Reroll our whole run now. No. Uh, we will open these for sure. Even though it's one extra key, one key for three chests, usually worth it. Got a lot of bombs and a pretty fly pill. I'd say that's worth it. It would have been nice if they threw in one key somewhere down the line, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make too big of a stink about it. Help. Uh just just blow one up, please. Like, one holy light shot solves this... Thank you. Solves this whole fucking conundrum. Damage is a little weak. I'll admit. You know, you can tell by the size of our tears. We're not really... Not really knocking it out of the park here. I mean, you know what they say about a guy with small tears. He's not really knocking it out of the park. He's, he, he can't uh, express his emotions. And you need to have that kind of emotional freedom to... Bang dingers. I was talking about baseball, not not anything, um, you know, looter than that. Looter! <laughs> Something style, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I don't remember the rest of the lyrics. Surely there's a ludicrous song that I know. I know the one that's like, I know Jimmy Fallon's parody of that uh, ludicrous song that he did for the 2002 Salt Lake City Olympics. Ain't no homies. Play hockey. If it's below 30, roll out. You can bite me. Um, I forget the rest of it. Why do I remember that? It was like, I'm pretty sure I downloaded that shit off like fucking Bear Share when I was like 14. Okay, there you go. Yeah, 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 okay. Joker. Um. I mean, I'd actually like to kill myself on the deal with the devil to use Judas' shadow to respawn, but it's like. It's not necessarily something we have to do immediately here. But I'm going to get out of the way of that. Oh, right, we've already been to our deal with the devil on this floor, you freaking idiot. Um, but it did save us from getting hit by that bomb, so. And I suppose we could have taken my shadow and then probably died and respawned. But that should tell you uh, just about everything you need to know about how, I, how much I respect my shadow, which is effectively zero. It's not a bad item in the sense that Dead Sea Scrolls is a bad item and can hurt you. It's just a bad item because it's not very good. But this is this is the beauty of the seeds, man. This is people making uh, different decisions here. So Bloody Penny is better than store credit, but only long term. Short term, store credit is awesome. Bloody Penny is worth way more than 15 cents. Probably on every level, including survival, but also financial. Um... You know, if it allows us to play the Blood Bank 
10 more times, there's your 15 cents right there. And maybe you snag HP out of it as well. And maybe you live because of it. But we might as well use store credit on this floor. I mean, why not, right? Things are starting to slow way down. Wow. Okay. So do you take Bloody Penny or do you take store credit? Honestly, with this amount of money, I think you take... Uh, I think you take... Bloody Penny. Let's go look up Watch Battery. Watch Battery After Birth Trinket. Watch Battery. Increases the chance of finding little battery pickups. You know what? That is not what I thought it did. And I think that's... A, oh, I'll get the mouse pointer off the screen. I think that's actually a better trinket for us because of our ability to use uh, the shears more reliably. Good to know. So there's HP. Which we should have killed ourselves and then come back as Dark Judas to, to garner, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Don't give up on me yet. Don't forget, you're here forever. It's this darn curse of the unknown, man. It always rattles my brain. Okay, second secret room. It's actually a bad placement because we probably could have gotten that card out of it. Probably should have killed ourselves and then come back as Jar Dark Judas and grab that. Jark Dudas! Jark Dudas. Stan Jark. Okay, we did get a deal with the devil on this floor as well, which is hilarious. You know what? We might as well take it. I Fuck it. I think we take ourselves out here. Come back as Dark Judas. And win the run. I wanted that damage right away. Now, we do need spirit arts ASAP. Uh, this guy's my friend? Can be in conception? Uh, like, these aren't both my shadow. Uh, they don't look like they're both my shadows, so... I'm a little confused, but I'm, I'm okay with it, don't get me wrong. Just a little surprised is all. Excuse me. I mean, we had all these flies back here. You're not doing any damage. Okay, where's my little battery pickups? I was told that there would be extra battery charges. Are you actually kidding me? Yo, I need to be able to buy shit from the shop. That's your purpose. Why are you closed? We want to shop. Cadillac Fairview doesn't want me in? Oh, man, it's been a while since I've actually seen that video. It's a little sad that I can remember the quotes so readily. Why do you care so much? Oh, I don't care! The, let the cops cut off my balls, because the cops are always right, right? Are you crazy? I just walked over here. Something like that. That's like, for me, that was the original, like, Number five, are you kidding? Who do you think you are? I am! Help. No, we're good. We're good. Man, he's shooting straight at me. Shears! Cut him up! Somehow we didn't get hit there. Shears, there's still things to cut up. It doesn't have to be the big bad, but cut something up. Sweet. Squeezy's good here. Good floor. Good floor. We're not going to leave yet, but good floor nonetheless. We also got this Yara rune. Has me feeling pretty smart, because we left behind that Yara rune earlier in order to take Perthro, thinking that there might be a Yara rune a little later. What'd we get? Brother Bobby. We're one Brother Bobby richer. You better bet your bottom, Brother Bobby. I was going to say bottom dollar, but then instead it... It's like I was making a an uncomfortable reference or something. Good. Good. Better. Best. Okay. I mean, I'm still... It, it's telling that I have double damage and some decent tier modifiers. And I'm still using uh, Sack Dagger to do, like, all of my damage. What is it telling? It, it's telling me that I might be, like, the world's biggest idiot. But it's also telling that I think that the damage that we're doing is not that incredible. But that's why we're looking for our item room here. Things could change. That's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. You know what? Yeah. Go, go take these guys out. You can do it in like two seconds flat. I do need you to aggro them though. Thank you. And I'll, I'll clean up the trash. That doesn't bother me. Two guys right over. Don't even worry about these jokers. Just go get them. You get, you tell me you can't pathfind that? Probably the best luck I've ever had with blowing up skulls right there, as you can see. What do we get, like nine turrets? Hmm, we can no longer fly. But we do want to place a bomb here, which is a blessing in disguise, actually. Okay, so we can open... Uh, 
We can open golden chests for free now. Is that worth losing the extra battery charges? I don't think so. Oh, I thought I'd like threaded the needle there. Not worth it, probably. This guy's done. Man, we're just like struggling, not incredibly, but just slightly to get started here. These guys, are you gonna explode? You're not gonna explode, you're invisible. Invisible people don't explode. That's just the first rule of invisibility. Telepills. And speed down. Classic. I was, th you know what I always thought? Life was going a little too fast anyway, so. Um, thanks for that, I appreciate it. You just shot your own mustard, mister. That guy just walked over top of that rock. Straight up bullshit. That's like the second rule of invincibility and invisibility. You can't walk over your own rocks. It's just not fair. So Telebills, by the way, is better for Boss Rush than Yera is, but I'm gonna stick with Yera because it's better overall, I think. You're, uh, the third rule of invisibility is visible enemies can't shoot that often. Invisible enemies can, that's the rule. Pisces, it's okay. So, uh, sort of, but also sometimes sort of bad. I think we're just gonna go... I think we're just gonna go go and not leave anybody hanging on like a yo-yo second secret room would be nice if it had HP I guess any any form of HP will do so that's exactly what happened and uh, we're pretty much like right on schedule for finishing boss rush or getting to boss rush at least Red chests? I don't know. Golden chests? Stone chests is probably actually the best standalone chest if we don't have any other uh, options uh, spacebar wise. Not spacebar wise. Guppy wise is what I meant to say. Uh, it's a dirty room. Apparently dirty rooms have a smaller chance to have uh, crawl spaces slash black markets, but they can still have them. So that's good to know. Uh, we could use shears there and pick up some extra cash, but uh, the, the cost is is worth more than the, the benefit. Okay, you just trap me in the corner, I guess. Yeah, hit me twice, see if I care. This is more my shadows for me. Honestly, you just played right into my hand. Wait, wait, where did my my shadows go, though? Th those were, that was my hand. That was my hand that you played into, and now it's gone. It's alright, HP's still good. Curse of the Unknown, is, that's just the, the, the story of this whole episode. Run independent. I'm so sick of uh, not being able to see how much HP I have. That's the f that's my new joke. Is that's the first mod I'm gonna make for Afterbirth Plus. No curse of the unknown. Also, telepathy for dummies is modded out of the game. Also, Krampus's head goes back to his normal charge. Also, Krampus can't rotate. He can't do his rotating attack. If he's uh, within one character width of the top of the screen, thereby rendering it impossible for you to be able to dodge it if he spins at the top. Um, those are all the first mod I'm going to make for Afterbirth. Afterbirth Plus, I should say. I kid, I'll probably make none. Well, I'll, I'll do a voice pack for sure. I don't know, I might. I mean, I heard that... Uh, not, not to belittle it, but I heard that if you know... Other object-oriented programming languages. Learning to script in Lua is not particularly, uh, you know, time-consuming or difficult, which is fairly standard, I guess. But we'll see. I gotta, I gotta see how it actually works first. I also don't know if you even need to be able to write in Lua to make a mod for it. Maybe it just has like a mod editor or something you can use. Okay, let's uh, hold out of the Shears card then. It's all good, baby, baby. We will go to our secret room. And then we will teleport out of Boss Rush. I hate this. Yeah, that was. Uh, thanks for the troll bomb. Good for the tuna. Okay, this guy's screwed. This guy, mom, is screwed. But also, if we can get a deal with the devil, I know I can take one. I know I got red hearts. I have one red heart. That should do it. That didn't do it. That will do it, and I'm an idiot, because we were doing fine. Okay, take this. See what you got. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't even start with me, Krampus. If you start doing this top screen rotating bullshit, I'm out. You're going to become the zero with mod that I make in Isaac. That's a little bit of a weird callback there. Okay, we'll take this. That's fine. Didn't use the shears, because I thought maybe if there's something amazing in here, we'll just fight in the room. But the D6... 
Okay, we take the d6. Yeah, pick it up. Oh, we can, so the shears are like, ah, get out of here! Okay, this, no, this is bad. I've made a horrible mistake. We're too slow now. We got the dice shard? I don't really want to use dice shard on the item room. At least we got to donate something on this run. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> That was so stupid. All right, so I took Thunder Thighs. I'm not loving life right now. Come on, just give me one black card. Really? Well, I suppose we should use Dice Shard. Oh my god. Because we're going to... Uh, we're going to take the Yara rune anyway. I think we will die on this run as well. And that's a testament to my own idiocy as much as anything else. You could make it better. You could make it better, run. Oh, first, yeah, just, well, I, we should dice shard first. We got blank card, and we re roll. Anarchist Cooper, are you fucking kidding me? What am I supposed to do with this? Blank card, Yera? I guess, yes, blank card, Yera. Thank you for reconsidering. But we already re rolled the blank card. We re rolled it in Anarchist Cooper, looking for a passive item. God dang it. Okay. Hmm. Yera, it is then. Oh, okay, how much HP do we have? A little bit more than I thought, if I'm being honest, but a lot less than I'd like. I really wanted that to be a speed upgrade. Tinted rocks? No tinted rocks. Okay, it's alright. We don't need the money. We don't need anything! We're... <laughs> We're gonna do this on our own, and then you'll be sorry, game. You'll be sorry you ever crossed us once I'm the world's most rich and most rich and most rich and also most handsome man on earth, according to both People Magazine and Forbes, in their rare combined issue that they issued exclusively in my honor. My honor? Oh yes, did I mention I'm also a Supreme Court justice? Telepills, not good enough. At least we got Sack Boy. I mean, we got like, we got Sacks. The Sacks could save us. The same way it saved Bill Clinton's chances in the 1992 presidential election against incumbent President George Herbert Walker Bush. Landmark appearance uh, on the Arsenio Hall show changed everything, but Onsus. That's good! We can see where we're going, and this is the wrong way, which is a little surprising. But it is, you know, it's an XL floor, so anything can happen on these. We're only like two rooms away. Well, three, but still. Fairly good chance to qualify for a deal. Kate's playing in the forest. It's not like there's a, you know, a zoo opened up across the street or something. I, I can relate. That game makes me make some, uh, make some noises as well. Somehow did it. We'll go back for those bombs. There's no excuse for that one. Except laziness, but this isn't a run where we can afford to be lazy. If you're really, really strong, laziness is a virtue. You know, you get to save more time for you. If you're a little bit weak here, laziness is uh, basically just the kiss of death. Not a secret room, okay. Not yet a woman. So I'm thinking with Daddy Long Legs, you get in nice and close lock, and then you get hit once and then destroy him. And then you probably reroll Jesus Juice. Yeah! I'm not gonna lie and say that Old Bandage was like my ideal item. I'm not even gonna say that Old Bandage is better than Jesus Juice, because I think that would be misleading. Um, but it's more beneficial for us immediately as a result of the survival implications. It's good. Holy Light is really good against Mom's Heart. What? At the last possible moment, you hit me? I think we just go to the cathedral and try to ride it, man. I mean, the rooms are tough on both floors. We might as well go to the floor where, you know, every room that we complete actually takes us closer to the goal. And we're just looking for some red hearts. If we get some red hearts, I don't even mean this facetiously. We could pretty easily win this run if we just got, like, a couple red hearts. 
Or we could die, like, the first time we get hit as well. Like, that's the other opportunity that's available to us here. I'm also super stoked to have enemies who are, like, really annoying when it comes to dodging into us. And then also we have Pisces, which just makes them rattle around here. That's pretty sweet. I'm a huge fan of that. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Yeah, let's do exactly the same thing on this room. Give me HP, you son of a bitch. Oh, they did it! The stupid suckers did it! Okay. That's all we need is a little bit of survivability. That's all we've ever needed was 2 HP. The heck was that move there? That's, I don't support this at all. Oh my god. 2 HP and a little permanent Polaroid invincibility? Is it my birthday? This is the birth of a brand new streak. I am tweaking into a whole new era. Streak funk. Step to this. I dare ya. Don't walk on the bomb. We do need the, the keys for uh, for Yara. I mean, I guess we don't really need them anymore because we're already doing fine on that, but we could use them. Thought maybe this would be a connector. That's my mistake. Hey, thanks, Sack Dagger, for making sure that I didn't like completely eat shit there. Secret room? No, we... There's no way of getting around uh, the fact that we're going to have to do a little walk in here. And I uh, can do a little walking. This is Christopher Walken, famous actor. Actor from Hollywood. <laughs> That's, uh, uh, hey, Christopher Walken, what are you doing here? Not much. Do you think this is what I sound like? Well, it's, you know, it's been a while since I've seen a movie of, of yours, so I was just kind of doing it from memory. It's not really, uh, that's not really what Christopher Walken sounds like. I did my best. You know what they say, though? Everyone's a critic, Hey, I don't know why I became this Christopher Walken now. We get three spiders? That's the dream payout right there. Okay, you can't, you can't be afraid with Sack Dagger. That's the fifth rule of invincibility, is if you got Sack Dagger, you gotta, you gotta nut up and shut up. Everybody likes the slow and silent and strong and stoic type. We don't want... Rotating snake baby trinket. Look at that sack dagger action. If we can get to an enemy before they have a chance to like complete one animation, they're losing like half their HP, if not all of their HP. You are now dead. Uh, you are now soon to be dead. There you go. You are dead now. Really didn't think we'd be exploring this much of this floor, but that's so it's you know, it is what it is. All right. Not a dead end. That's exciting. I'm starting to think we're pulling this bad boy out. I know it didn't look good forever there, but... Um, we're back in the saddle. Hanged man. Not, not really what I need right now. Can we beat Isaac? I mean, we should be able to beat Isaac pretty freaking easily, to be honest with you. I'm a little offended you would even ask. Have you seen this run? Like, it's not that amazing, but it's good enough to beat fucking Isaac. Who does he think he is? He's a fucking nobody. What? Even with my bomb engineered there, you still hit me? I don't buy it. Show me the birth certificate, Gertie Jr. Probably shouldn't have taken that HP. But I'm operating under the assumption that we're going to beat the ass off of Isaac anyway. Nothing, huh? Alrighty, here we go. Here we go. Most important thing here. Stay as far away as we can. Oh, that was almost dangerous there. Good. Holy light. You thought the light was your friend. No. I was raised in the light. I didn't see darkness until my first night on Earth. I call that character man who was born in the daytime. You might say, isn't that a baby who was born in the daytime? And I would say, aren't all men babies when they're born? Checkmate. We're very slow. This is not good. I mean, like, it's it, we're going to win against Isaac, and we're going to win the game, and probably win it in under 29 minutes. I mean that, yes. I mean we will beat the next floor in 25 seconds flat. Um, I'm not being facetious in the least. Down to the next floor, I suppose. Uh, don't forget to use Yara. 
We, we really need, like, some HP and preferably some damage here. Curse of the Blind was the other thing I was gonna say, is that we definitely need some Curse of the Blind action. So the Game Kid is good for one room. Friendly Ball. Ugh. Cupid's Arrow is decent. Technology 2 is horrible. Tiny Planet is... <laughs> actually makes Tech 2 not so bad. Or it isn't as bad because we have Tech 2. Taurus is uh, the Kiss of Death, because now we have a speed downgrade. And Mom's Bottle of Pills has given us Pretty Fly and the Mom Transformation. What an incredible time to be alive. Well, first things first, we step over here and we just pop Game Kid so we can gain some HP. And that actually works like fantastically for some reason. So I'm pretty stoked about that. We're like much, much better at being alive than we used to be. And we find the D6, which is like, well, it's one of these bad boys over here. We reroll them all. Number two, that's not that bad. Prayer card, it's another hit. And Super Bandage, this is incredible. Have we been carried? I mean, have you seen our speed? No, we've not been carried, what kind of a question is that? Absolutely not. Our speed is so horrible. You got Tiny Planet Technology 2, two of, two of the best items in the game's history, of course. Uh, so, ignoring that though, I think we're in a little bit of a weird spot. When we were standing on his poop there, we actually, it took us like longer to get started there than it does to accelerate in American Truck Simulator when you're hauling like 22,000 pounds of fertilizer. So that's not a good indication of what our speed stat's like right now. Please, I beg you. Free me. Can't wake up! That was not very smart, shouldn't have stood there. Explosivo's pretty sweet, though. I still think watch battery's pretty valuable here. We're at the point where there's three or two items back there that I can backtrack for once I get a reroll, but I don't want to because it, it's going to take us 80 years to backtrack that far. I can't dodge the brimstone shot. Like, if I'm not properly positioned, it, it, it can't be dodged. So, you know, just enjoy your, your life on the D-list, Kathy Griffin, because I can't get to you. Oh, Taurus is working! It's about to pop! It's about to pop any day now! Yeah! Just in time. Like, for real though, we were a little scared there. I guess we'll stay at two and a half. Ooh, no batteries. Or maybe, I don't know, batteries. Sure, whatever, who cares? We got this. I've never been more uh, sure of anything in my whole life. I can't get away from these troll bombs, so I guess we just have to stay out of, like, aggro range. Hilariously, despite getting an item that gave us extra knockback, I can't even knock these back, because now all we shoot our lasers effectively. Oh my lord, HP. Onsus? Algiz! Algiz, who wins us the game? Uh, go back and reroll. Ugh. This run, man. Well, I've been through the chest on a run with no name. It was cool if it wasn't so lame. In this miasma, you can only feel pain. Pupula duplex doesn't help us stay sane. Ba 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 da ba da ba ba da ba da ba ba. I don't know. Remember how the rest of the song goes. So we have Algiz, and the boss fight's right there. Holy shit, we actually are gonna win. Fuck all y'all. It's a sabotage, but also, I deserve this one. Like, I'm not saying I played amazingly, but for enduring this. This this could be the start of a beautiful streak. That's alright. Thanks for the HP, sucker. You bricked it. You sucked it. You cemented it. You put the drywall in wrong. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's do this. Algiz rune, and then just stand still. Pop an Algiz, then I'm sweating. I'm ready. You're ready. We won! Let's just forget about the fact that we lost a run here and say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. That was out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Ooh.